we put together an app that will help you do the most mundane type of practice and enjoy it thoroughly. I'm talking about practicing your scales. Cello Coach is here to help you not only improve your intonation, but track your progress as well. So let's just get right into this app and show you all about it. To start things off, let's download the application. It's in the Google Play Store when you bring it up. All you need to do is search Cello Coach. At first, when you open it, please accept our privacy policy. Again, we take your privacy very seriously. We don't record anything. All we need to do is use your microphone installed in your smartphone or tablet to better, well, better your intonation. Here we are. We're going to add our name. So I'm going to put in my name right here. And the skill level. Today I'm going to pick a beginner to show you what it's like to start from the very beginning. And we are done. First, we're going to go down to the settings, which is quite important. I want to show something to you. Now, in parts of this planet, or maybe your teacher or your ensemble, you use not a frequency that is the standard 440 hertz. You use something else. Here in France, they love 442. I've heard in Asia, they use 441. And if you are playing a Baroque instrument on Baroque tuning, then you will be using 415, which is basically a half step lower. Today, for simplicity, we will stay with 440. So yes, this tuner is completely adjustable to your needs. We're going to go into the tuner. And you can select either sharps or flats. We're just going to be simple and stay with sharps and tune our instrument. Looks like we're good to go. And let's go into our practice. What you see here is a scale. The C major scale it starts with. And you can go into the scales and select any scale that you want, up to three sharps and three flats. We're going to stay simple and go to the G major scale one octave. You can push the octave and you'll get the high octave or you can even have two octaves. But for simplicity and saving time, I'm going to stay with a single octave as well. I'm going to start and just demonstrate what happens. When you have completed, if you have jumped up a level and the app notices that you're playing at a quite high level, then it will ask you if you want to update. It's updating me to the expert level. Let's see if I can maintain that. And always positive reinforcement. You can either try a new session or simply saying, I can do better. Well, I think I'm pretty good on that one. But instead, I'm going to try a new session and do the relative minor to G major, which is E minor, maybe a little more challenging, and go to the second octave. It looks like I stayed in the expert level. And what you see here, we have two readouts I want you to look at. First the readout is the three colors, the orange, yellow, and red. The, you have the three worst of your notes that you play, the ones that are most out of tune, red being the worst out of tune. And if you look closely here at the red, you see a shaky bar. That histogram is going to give you an exact precision readout as to how you played on that exact note. 
Not only is it going to judge your intonation, but the quality of sound that you produce with your bow. So if you're scratching, if you're doing something, the microphone won't pick it up clearly enough. You must be precise. You must be consistent. So that is what those readouts are all about. One thing I want to bring your attention to, I'm going to push the random button. And the random button is such a great tool to use if you're a beginner and learning how to play these notes. To keep it super simple, because I know some of you guys are beginners, I'm going to keep it in D major, two sharp staying here on these two strings. And when you push this, you're going to keep it in the high octave and it's going to only remain in that second octave and only remain in D major without any fingerings and you simply play the notes. And every time that you tap random or even through the octaves, you're going to get a different selection of notes. It's never the same. Oh, it looks like I got knocked out of the expert level and seems I'm down to the advanced level. Well, that happens. So that's all I wanted to show you today is this app. And if you notice, yes, it's in English, but there are some things, for instance, if you could help me translate into your language, words like I can do better and new session, the little words that are in this app, again, linked in the description below is just and instructions of what I need. You can email me at my website. Here's my website right here. And you can email me your translations. I'm gonna trust you on this. And not only will I trust you, I would like to give you acknowledgement in the Google Play Store as an official translator. Yes, I want to make this app one of the first apps here on YouTube built not only by cello players, but also cello learners on the other side of the screen, you guys out there. I think you guys can really help us out. So not only do can you download it, can you use it, review it on the Google Play Store, keep in contact with me and the developers listed on the Google Play listing, and tell us what you think, what can be improved, and share it with anyone that you know. Thanks for watching my video today, I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you learned something. Comment if you're using the app, and check out these videos right here. They might be more appropriate for you. Again, thanks for watching, and stick around. We're all going to learn a lot.